Hey guys, my name is Zach Kincaid. And I'm Lauren Bentley, and we're graduate assistants at the Lewis College of Business here at Marshall University. And today we're going to be giving you a tour of the Brad D. Smith Center for Business and Innovation. We are now in the Dutch Miller Automotive Group Forum in the atrium of the building. This area was designed for students to collaborate, gather, and socialize before and after classes. Okay, now I'm here at the I Center, which is the Innovation Center here at the School of business and as you look up you can see our stock terminal where we can see what the stock is trading at every day so now let's head into the eye center and see Paige. Hello, hey Paige how are you? Good come on in. Thanks <laughs> we thought we'd come in and see if we can hear a little bit about the yeah. eye center. So welcome to the eye center this is our center for innovation and entrepreneurship we are, we used to be in Corbley and now we're in here in this beautiful space. And so this is a design thinking uh, tank. And so what design thinking is, if you're not familiar with it, it's an approach to solving complex human centered problems. And this approach was brought to us by Brad Smith before he was the president at Marshall. And he used this approach at Intuit and that's what made them so innovative and transformative with their products such as um, TurboTax or QuickBooks or Credit Karma. And so he brought that to us at Marshall and so we deploy it. And so we do a lot of different workshops in here. So there's three steps to design thinking. So this whole room is set up for the design thinking. So the first step in design thinking is to customer empathy. So you can go back there and learn from customers. And then you have the second step, which is going broad to go narrow. That's brainstorming, so that's why we have the whiteboards. And then over here in this area, that's for the third step of design thinking, which is rapid experiments with customers. Um, the, then once you do your rapid experiments with customers, you take it back over here and you can do presentations. Um, this presentation area is also for the second thing we do, which is the Brad D. Smith Student Incubator. And we run that as a course underneath the College of Business. It's entrepreneur, our Entrepreneurship 200. It also has an H designator, which means that students that are honors students can count that towards their honors credit that they have to receive um, to be in the honors college. And so we meet here on Fridays um, from 2 to 4 o'clock and the students all receive a mentor um, to help them come up with really great solutions to problems that they want to solve in the world. So that's a little bit about what the Eye Center does, so thank you for stopping by. Thanks so much, Paige. Yeah. We're now in room 113, which happens to be the biggest classroom available in the building. The majority of these classes taught here are introductory courses such as economics, marketing, and accounting. The room is also available for special events such as speaker panels and event dinners. Here in room 112, this classroom is formatted to provide students with an engaging experience geared towards presentation and discussion. Now in room 119, this classroom is designated as one of our high flex classroom formats. These rooms are designed to provide students with collaborative technology, offering six screens for group work. You can find a classroom layout like this on each of the three floors of the building. In this area is the self-serving coffee and snack bar. In here you can buy a drink or a snack and pay with your credit card or card points. And down the hallway we have the Service Wire Company Transformative Sales and Service Excellence Center. On my left we have the Ray Hall Center for Strategic Engagement. On my right we have the Academic Advising Center. And then further down the hallway we have the Truist Bank Leadership Service Room. We are now in the Ancova Auditorium, our 360 seat theater style classroom. This space is used for speaker events, panels, and ceremonies. On the second floor, you can find the student common area. Within this room, there are various seating options for students to do individual works. If needed for a group project, you can use a conference room for a quiet space for collaborative work. Within this area, there's also free office supplies available for students. The Forbes space is structured to promote teamwork, collaboration, and the implementation of problem-solving strategies, providing support across multiple student organizations. Through their education journey, students will be able to apply for internships because of the skill sets sharpened in premier spaces like this. 
I'm now in room 210, which is a more traditional style classroom formatting, but with all of our modern updated technology. I'm now standing in the hallway of the Finance and Economics Department, which is down this hall. This is the second floor and the faculty and administration offices. So we'll move down this way to our accounting department. This is the Princess Lee Falconer Jr. Department of Accountancy and Legal Environment. We're now in our inner courtyard on the second floor. This building was designed so that each faculty member had a window um, within their office space. And here you can find some peace and quiet while also outside doing homework. On the third floor of the building, which is for our administrative offices like the Dean Suite, but behind me here is the College of Business Hall of Fame wall, which has plaques of all of the alumni and community members that have been inducted into our Hall of Fame. Across the hallway is our boardroom, which is used for large meetings, our Board of Governors, and the College of Business Advisory Board meetings. We're now going to head into the Charles and Francis Rappold Finance Lab. So come right on in. This finance laboratory is set up like a traditional stock exchange bullpen. So like the floors of the stock exchange. And we are working on getting individual monitors to go in these tables here, as you can see. On the third floor, you can find the computer lab. Each student is given two monitors, allowing for easier setup to analyze data. Now we're going to head into the Dean Suite, which is provided by the generous donation of Calvin A. and Nita Sue Kent. Third floor, you can find the faculty and staff of the MIS, Marketing, Sport Business, and Entrepreneurship offices. 